Happy Halloween, everybody! This is Golden Ocean Star 1, and today I have the Five Nights at Warriors crew here with me to now help me out in unboxing this Pokemon Trading Card Trick or Trade Booster Bundle. 35 mini packs of cards. Now, this should be fun to see what we get. So, let's open this pack up and see what lies inside this. I do actually like the idea of a Halloween theme mystery box a little bit, and I figured, you know what? For something fun for Halloween, we would do so. And here we are. This is... To put this off to the side. 35 different Pokemon cards. 35 packs of Pokemon cards. Now, there's only like three cards in each, so it's not a whole lot. But we can open each of these one at a time. We'll see what we get. Now... Since most of these are going to be usually ghost types, we'll kind of see exactly how many ghost type Pokemon we get. Or how many we don't get, though. So let's open up. Pack 1 of 35. Opening up right here. Are we playing background Pokemon music? Maybe. Nice. Lavender Town. Oh, whoa. Here we go. So looks like we got ourselves a... Poltergeist, a Ogre Pond, Teal Mask Ogre Pond, and a Haunter. Oh, and the Ogre Pond looks like it's kind of special. Let's put these off to the side. Pack two. Let's see what we get. Oh, look at that. Monkey Dory. Looks like Monkey Dory. Monkey Dory. We got Pumpkaboo. And we got a Ghastly. Nice. Maybe we'll get ourselves a Gengar. We'll have ourselves the full Pokemon Halloween Ghastly treat. Ghastly line. That'll be fun to have. We have a little special Ghastly. Also a dark type as well, which is kind of neat. Or a slightly different typing. Even the Haunter as well. You can sort of kind of see. Oh, look at that! Whoa! Fez... Uh... Fezendipit, which is the one of the other special Pokemon. I think it's actually a special one in its own right. Gorgeous, which is an evolution of Pumpkaboo, which is nice. We have also Monkey Dory, which I think must be a special one as well, I think. They're... I mean, they're I guess, special in their own right, but I guess I'm going put it like that. And then finally, Iron Jugulus. Oh! Wow. Iron Jugulus, the first of the Paradox Pokemon. So it's like we're being a lot of Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. It's probably because it's mostly the most recent bundle pack, but you know what? Uh -huh. That's good. Let's see what the next pack hides. Well, and there we go. We got all three of the trio. And Ogre Pond as well. So, here, let's move the Luigi off to the side. We have a Fuego Co, which is nice. And a Graveyard. Graveyard. But yeah, here we go. The three... The, the evil trio, plus Ogre Pond. Pretty nice. Didn't think we actually get all three so quickly, though, but... I guess we did. Nice. A lot of Pokemon cards to open up. And I got one hand holding the camera. Let's see what other see what other paradox we can actually get. Maybe we get ourselves Chandelure, Pikachu, and Houndstone. Alrighty, another evolution line completed. And also get a Pikachu though, I guess it kinda makes sense. Though would have honestly would have loved if the Pikachu had a fun little hollow. You know, witch hat or Captain Halloween costume. Like, you know, something adorable like that. But I guess it makes sense for a Pokemon with spawn up here. Oh, well. Oh, whoa. We, a Litwick. A Litwick's Litwick. But we got ourselves a f ancient Fluttermane card, which I can actually zoom in and look at the card directly. So you can kind of see it. Wow. That's a special card. 
And then... Ooh. Screamtail. We got two Paradox Pokemon. Okay. Ooh. Umbreon, which I guess doesn't make sense. A Mimikyu, which actually looks fairly nice. And a Quaxly. Ooh. Nice. Let me also put dark types. Does that mean ghost types could technically be dark types or the psychic type in this get in this book piece TCG? You know, I, ha I, w I guess in Fluttermane, probably the best Pokemon you should have gotten, basically, for a ghost paradox. Cause, no, it's not really a ghost type, though, but, I mean, no. I think, oh, no, it is. No. It is. Never mind. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Houndour. Gengar. Which actually means, I believe, actually, if I'm correct, we have finished the Ghastly line. And a Phantom. Yeah. Hound right there. Let me just let's go back and check. Yeah, there we go. Now technically, we have ourselves an entire Gengar line for you know Halloween cards, which means we have at least two teams we can actually build based around these Halloween cards, or at least two Pokemon in particular. Like I guess that'd be a fun little Pokemon deck to create is using the Halloween cards you get here. Create yourself a fun little team, so when people look at the cards, they're like, Oh, hey, must have gotten really lucky getting all these cards. Oh, ho, ho, hello. Oh, Houndoom. Let's add him to the list, because we got another Houndoom. Trevenant, another Pokemon combination as well, just like with Phantom. And then, Darkrai. Ooh, Darkrai is a cool one. Ooh, let's put you off to the side, because you're special. Mario, Mario, and Luigi off the side. Mario's a bit kind of unique. I recently made him. It's a Fire of Warriors themed, and Mario's a bit tricky to do because of how he looks. He doesn't really have a head in the game, so to put him in plush form was a bit tricky, but I pulled it off. Oh, hello. A Sinister. And a Poltergeist. Another one of these two. So another combination. And then we have ourselves a Haunter. Another Haunter again. Okay. Well, you know what? Getting duplicates is going to make sense. So I think the Pikachu... So I think, honestly, the starter Pokemon should at least have a fun little Halloween design. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Sprigito. But we're getting a lot of Gen 9 Pokemon. I do actually like Gen 9. Man, it's some pretty good Pokemon, though. It's not just like that. It's not just the fact that Star Raptor is in the game. I mean, it is, but you know. Another Ogre Pond. Oh. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> That's pretty much accurate. So we have ourselves the all three starters. We have. Sprigido, Quaxley, and Fuecoco, as well as Pikachu, because Pikachu is Pikachu. But we also have another Ogre Pond, a second Ogre Pond as well, and another Ghastly. I guess it'd be fun I should have at least two ghost teams, though I don't have any dark type energy cards, so... It would be hard for me to do go to a team like that. And another Pumpkaboo, okay, and a Monkey Dory, which is another one special, uh, special Pokemon in its own right, and then also another Iron Jugulus. Hmm, same card, same exact, same exact card. Wow, neat. Thought I should get. I said, hmm. Let's see. This is how many cards we have left, though. We still have a lot. Like, wow, we have a lot to deal with. I'll, I'll, I'll let Luigi hold on to these. All right, thank you, Luigi. Oh, well, War and Waluigi are currently guarding the cards. And Mario's there, just over, Mario's over there, vibing. And 
And there we got another Gorgeist to add on to that whole thing. A Fezampit. Wait, no, a Fezandipit. I believe that's correct. If so, wants to comment down below how it's said, please do so. Another Fake Coco. I'm not. You know what? I'll just put another Fake Coco together because it's right there. Huh. And we have ourselves our next card. Hmm. A Chandelure. Okay. Shoot. Don't need a lamp. Oh, I need a lampet for a Chandelure line. Shoot. Oh, we'll get a, chan we'll get a lampet. Another Okie Wow. Okie Dogie. And a Greybeard. So we're actually getting ourselves multiple special Pokemon. I'm surprised. At the very end, all this will be interesting to see what we get. All those cards of packs are opened. I'm having better luck with these cards than I am with regular Pokemon card packs. This is only just three Pokemon. That one is... Oh! Hey, no, there's a Pikachu! And a Houndstone! Okay, Houndstone, we another collection complete. Pikachu, our second Pikachu, and then finally, Lampent. Which means now we have ourselves an entire Chandelure Litwick line. Let's keep on going. Here we go. Oh, here we go again. Another, com another same combination again. Another Scream Tail, another Flutter Mane. And a Litwick. Another line sort of started again. I wonder if we're getting much duplicate cards, maybe. These are all exactly the same. They're just not. Random packs or something like that. A feeling might be the case, though. Oh, you know what? I'll be honest, though. I'm surprised, though. We've not seen a, we haven't seen a Garantina yet. This is t Garantina tends to be the perfect Pokemon to get here. Yeah, okay, I think it's might be the same all around. Yeah, it's might be the same all around, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's might be... I, I just think it definitely might be the same. Who knows? But... Actually, I think Giratina. Definitely. This is the perfect time to actually get a Giratina. You know, Halloween themed ghost types. I mean, actually, heck, I would say for the Halloween for the Halloween Pokemon cards, this is where honestly you go crazy and give yourself not only just, just Pokemon start starters, though, but also you give yourself said goat, said Pokemon, like. Like ghost types, dark types. Solid idea, though, if you think about it. Well, let's guess. We'll get something. Let's go Pokemon we're getting this time around. Alright, here we go. Trevenant, another Dark Rye, and another Houndoom. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might, these cards just might be exactly the same as one of those, like, normally you would just. I bunch of them and give them out and people just get randomly stuff, but I'm unboxing all 35 of these cards. So I'm definitely curious to see what we get. Those ones most likely are probably getting a bunch of duplicates. Yeah. It's exactly what's going on. I think we're just getting a bunch of same duplicates though. So I think honestly that's what it is. So overall it means basically certain combination of cards are exactly the same, regardless. Well, these next set of cards, though, actually, I'm going to do this, though, and move all of these cards off to the side. Way off to the side. Move my Yoshi out of the way. And we're going to just look at the next few cards and just keep them together as sets and see what we get. Which will definitely help prove my point. Unless we get so unless there's something different, though, and randomly I'm just getting really either unlucky because I'm getting the same, same cards again, but... Who knows? Let's move all these cards out of the way, because... If I'm correct, though, which probably am, let's just see. Doesn't these next five or so cards we do, we're gonna go until we get the first duplicates. So we start off with Ghastly Ogre Pond and Sprigito. That's our first combination. Let's see what we get next.
Monkey Dory, Pumpkaboo, and a Iron Jugulus. Gorgeized, Fezendipit, and Fuecoco. Okidori, Chandelure, Graveyard, Graveyard, Graveyard. Houndstone, Pikachu, Lampent. Litwick, Fluttermane, and Screamtail. Yeah, I think it's definitely the same every time. I think that's what it is. It's a multi-card pack, but the cards are going to repeat themselves. Which means we'll be probably getting a bunch of repeats and everything. Houndoom, maybe Q, Quaxley. So, I figured as much kind of right. Houndour, Phantom, Gengar. Houndour, Dark Ride, Trevenant, and I'll bet you that means next these next card packs are gonna be the repeats. No, it's not yet. Not yet. Haunter, Sinistia, or Sinistia and Poltergeist. And here we go. And here is our duplicates. Okay, here we go. So, give me one sec. Overall, these are all the cards you can get in the hollow in these Halloween Pokemon Trick or Trade cards. This is every single card you can get. So overall, no Garantina. Shame. But I guess the fun part in particular is that these cards are all generated exactly the same. And they all give out the same cards. So yeah, overall, that means these last five card packs we set up in the way it is. So which also means I think, if I'm correct, and you look back to the video, there are at least nine, ten enough combinations though that were the very end of all, we should probably find out for sure. Since these last four card packs are probably exactly the same, I'm just gonna speed open up these cards, and at the very end of them all, we're gonna count how many of each card we've ended up with. We'll see exactly what it looks like. Because overall, I think definitely this is one of those kind of packs of stuff that, well, I mean, it's Halloween though. A lot of ghost types. So definitely, I think next year for Pokemon card packs, or at least for Halloween stuff, they should definitely do ghost types and dark types only as a card set thing. Here we go. Here are our last set of cards. Okie dokie. Fazan Pit. Put these with those cards right there. Pumpkin Graveyard, Houndstone. Oh, Monkey Door as well. Join that one as well. 
the ghost types over here, Chandelure Land Pit, another fire type combination, Fuego Co joins with Fuego Co, Pikachu with Pikachu, Iron Jugulus, Iron Jugulus, and that's all the cards. Okay, so now for the fun part. Let's go ahead and let's look at each of these cards separately and see how many we got of each. I'll start off with some of the ones that are kind of easier, like the ones that only are a single card, and we'll look at the ones that have multiple variations of each, and we'll see how many we got in total. Alright, so I will see you in a momentarily. And here we go, so it looks like we got ourselves 4 Pikachu, 3 Sprigido, 4 Fuego Co, and 4 Quaxley. Over here, we got 3 Darkrai, 3 Fluttermane, 3 Screamtail, and 4 Iron Jugulus. We got 4 Ogre Pond, 4 Monkey Dory, 4 Okie Dogie, and 4 Fezandipit. Dipity. Please comment down below how I'm supposed to say his name. We have ourselves 4 Poltergeist, 3 Phantom, 3 Trevenant, and 3 Sinistra. We have three Chandelures, or four Chandelures, three Lampent, and three Litwick. Four Pumpkaboo, four Gorgeist, four Greaveyard, four Houndstone, and three Mimikyu. And finally, four Ghastly, four Haunter, three Gengar, four Houndour, three Houndour, three Houndoom, and three Umbreon. This is the entire Pokemon collection. These is all 24 cards you can collect in the Pokemon Halloween themed trick or treat, treat card collection. So far, a nice collection of Pokemon cards. Really nice. 24 cards in that. Kind of neat. So honestly, it seems like every 8 packs you'll get a du start getting duplicates. So overall, that means technically one more card pack and we've had every single card at least doubled up. Actually, wait. No, not, not, no, no, no. Only three card packs have four in particular instead of three. You can probably tell which ones those are by based on the number of cards I've collected so far. Ones that intently have four are the ones that actually have more because 32 is the most you can get for duplicates, which means every single card at least has four duplicates. Save for a few cards in particular where they get more than one Pokemon at once. But overall, that is the Pokemon Halloween theme collection, the Trick or Trade collection. And this is my Five Nights at Wario's special themed Wario, Waluigi, Luigi, and Mario plushies. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween and Trick or Treat. <laughs>